We've had a couple of people tell us they enjoy watching us because we make them laugh. And if I can make you laugh, that's pretty good. Because I like making people laugh. I like putting people in good moods. So I was sitting here a few minutes ago watching the snowfall, and I remember back when I was, oh, I must have been six years old. And my grandmother had come to visit, and we opened up a can of Green Giant corn. And the label in, that they wrap around the can on the inside of the label, for 50 cents, you could uh, send off that coupon to Green Giant and get a seven foot kite, seven foot tall kite, Green Giant kite, and a ball of string. And I wanted that kite so bad. And I had the money, so my grandmother helped me stuff the envelope. I went and got a stamp and uh, deposited the 50 cents inside that envelope, sent it off. But that was a winter day. I'm going to say maybe February, March, it was snowing just like this. So it took about three long months to get that kite. I mean, it took forever, especially for a six-year-old child. Every day I'd wait for the mailman. Every day the mailman's like, nope, didn't come. And then finally one day, in the spring, my kite came. And I was so excited. It was a big cardboard tube, plastic stapled in the ends of it. I took that tube apart, poured that kite out. Oh my goodness, I put that kite together. It was so big. It was probably one of the biggest kites I've ever seen in my life. Even to this day, it was a huge kite made of plastic with a big picture of Green Giant standing on there. Sprout wasn't involved, just the Green Giant. I don't know what day the kite came, but I couldn't wait for Saturday. Saturday was the day I got to go outside and play. So my dad helped me assemble the kite. Saturday came, it was windy, couldn't ask for a prettier day as far as flying a kite. So my dad took the kite, walked out, and I spooled out the string, spooled out the string. It was heavy string too. Has to be heavy string for a kite that size. I was the only kid in our area that had a green giant kite. All my friends came down to watch us fly it. So, the wind was blowing, Dad got out, looked to me like it was two miles away, I'm sure it was only maybe 20 yards. But he let go of the kite, and that son of a gun went straight up in the air, and I'm spooling the string out, spooling the string out, and I got right down to the last of the string, and it was tied off to this little thing that you wind the string on. And I was flying that kite, and all my friends were just like, oh, Look at this kite. Look at this kite. It was warm enough. I had a pair of shorts on. I hated wearing shorts, but I had shorts on. Well, I don't know how long I've been flying the kite, but a gust of wind came up. And that kite just pulled so hard. And I wasn't about to let it go. I waited too long for it. And that kite pulled me right off my feet. Drug me down the road skin up my knees, skin up my elbows, skin up the palms of my hands. I even think I hit my face and skinned that up. And of course, I turned loose of the ball of string because I'm getting road rash from this kite. And there goes my green giant kite, disappeared into the sunset, never saw it again. And the only thing I had to show for that 50 cent kite was skin up knees, skin up elbows, both palms of my hands, and I'm pretty sure I got a skin mark on my face too. Kinda sucked. And you know what? There's no moral to that story. <laughs>